know who Ryan Standish is. Ryan Standish. Everybody knows who Ryan Standish is. Come on. <laughs> I don't think I know who Ryan Standish is. No. Ryan Standish. No. <laughs> How would you describe him in one sentence? Australian. A question if he's actually Australian? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> incredible person and a very good bike handler. I can say a lot of really nice things about Ryan. I would say just like a really good human. <laughs> Ryan Standish is an awesome friend. Hot sauce and beer. Yes. It's, it's why I get out of bed, man. The guy just, you know, pisses excellence. He's the chillest dude in gravel. My name's Ryan, and I like to party. Octa dogs. My name is Ryan Standish, and I am a bike rider. <laughs> We're here for the Unbound Gravel event, which is a big deal. I've been I've been a bike rider for between 15 and 20 years. Grew up in Alice Springs, Australia, which is if you took the map of Australia and then put a pin almost dead in the middle, that would be that would be Alice Springs. So I got into mountain biking with my dad initially and then and so yeah I figured out you could kind of race and there were people who raced locally this is an olympic sport you can there's like a world whole world cup series and people do this professionally and i feel like my career has three three or four parts it's like the the high school years and racing purely xco doing a little bit in europe with the usac development programs and meeting guys that I still race with like Payson and Keegan and Howard and Russell and yeah surrounded by those fast XCO guys who are also now the fast gravel guys. High school I ended up I took a gap year and lived in Bogota, Colombia for six months and was a, an assistant teacher at a, a school there and didn't ride. I rode a little bit but I wasn't. I was like God oh, I need to ride my bike and I think that's where my like fun focus. I moved back home to Australia working 40, 50 hour weeks and trying to train and I was like I'm I'm going back, I'm gonna like try and make it again and do this thing professionally. And I guess a big part of that was um, my dad was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Didn't see much of the progression between like 2012 was when I started college went through college and then when I moved home it was like oh that's like it's progressed a lot he was losing his ability to ride bikes and go on hikes and do like everything outdoors that he had loved doing and it kind of kicked my ass into gear and then as the disease progressed I thought I or I figured I should do something to support not only him but the other people affected by MS. So I started doing the Bike MS event in Utah, which raises, it's a fundraising event for multiple sclerosis. And I came up with this little, uh, the, the rocket sloth. The idea of that was dad being the sloth as he, as he slowed down, um, physically slowed down and then the rocket because he is a aerospace engineer seeing the progression of him walking with cane one cane at first and then two canes and kind of using a walker and then getting in a wheelchair and it's like he it gave him a lot more freedom and ability to move came kind of became a dual meaning for the rocket sloth as well and people are like oh is that because is that you because you like you're fast, but you're chill too. 
and so that that became the slogan for for Rocket Sloth is go fast, be chill, and I think that is my racing style and, and personality too. So. Unbound, this is gonna be my third year. Both years I've blown up at mile 100 or 110. I don't know, play by play is hard because it's such a long day and you can, anything can happen, whether it's physical, mechanical, psychological. Um, there's so many, so many hours for things to go sideways. And I think it's the people who can mitigate that who will end up in the front at the end of the day. It's good time. crazy day. Unbound's always a crazy day. I think still have beef with it. <laughs> still have to put together a good one. Um, I think this year that's something that like, mind, mindset is something that's been a big change this year um, compared to past years. It's especially at these long races you you're never out of the race cuz you're out there for 10 plus hours there's so much like if you're having problems anyone else could be having problems too in the past i've kind of been if if i'm out of the front group kind of check out and and stop racing so this year to be to be thinking yeah, it hasn't gone to plan so far, but do what you can with what you've got. And there's, there's still a good chance that it's gonna turn around. You're not the only person having, having a bad time out there. <laughs> I'm Ryan Standish, and I look forward to seeing you around at the races this year, hanging out, maybe drinking a beer, maybe enjoying a Brahms if we're in the Midwest and go fast, be chill. <laughs>